Hello everybody, Storm here. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. In the last episode, we got started with our new series in the new game here. Uh, playing as a Norse... I don't know, are we Norse? Well, a, a Nordic pagan. Yeah, Norse pagan. Uh, here as a tribal chief. Uh, that ha had two county level titles to start with. We were able to grab a third in a successful initial war that allowed us to create a duchy level title, which means we are now a Jarl. And so, that was fairly successful. We went on some raiding expeditions. Kind of hit or miss there. The first one was pretty decent. The second one, we kind of got caught and lost a lot. But ultimately, we're okay. We have a positive income. We got decent prestige. Uh, we're doing fairly well. And so, we're going to see if we can't grow, uh, grab, potentially a kingdom level title. And uh, maybe, eventually, convert to fru uh, feudalism. And see what happens there. We got all kinds of decisions. We found a holy order. Adopt feudal ways. So, yeah, we need... So your level of fame is distinguished, so we have that. We need to develop the chiefdom. Tribal, all tribal era innovations, which I'm not sure what that does. We need to have absolute tribal authority and organize the faith. A lot of work there. So... Actually, let me see if I can figure some of that out. Tribal Arrow Innovations. Innovations are technologies and other advancements that benefit all characters of a certain culture. Innovations are grouped into the errors when they can be discovered. The culture head can set another or the same innovation as the cultural fascination. Because I think we're not the cultural head, so we can't actually set that. Um... So that's something we're going to need to try to see if we can grab. Alright, so we got the duchy title here. There is one more county that can go in the duchy, but that's currently um, held by Jaland. So there isn't a lot I can do about that. They're much more powerful than we are. Uh, let's see. Kingdom titles. There is the Kingdom of Norway, which is very large. No one holds it. It hasn't been created yet. We need to have 15 Dijore counties. We only have three. And we need to have two duchy titles. We have one. So actually, that shouldn't be too hard. We just need to start working our way up the coastline here, conquering everyone in our way. Which sounds like a plan. We're almost up to 100 county control here. So let's get into the council and let's have you try to fabricate a claim on that county there. And see if we can start marching this way up the coast. Because heading towards Upland is probably not going to happen. And trying to fight uh, Jayland right now is not going to happen either. Uh, so. Of all the buffoonery I've ever seen... I am not even going to attempt to pronounce that. So, in unpronounceable's inane effort to improve my relations with my neighbors, my good-for-nothing chancellor has officially acknowledged Jarl Dag's claim to the chiefdom of Vingelmork. What? You're supposed to make me friends, not enemies. That almost will get you fired. We need to search for another court physician. Alright. Alright. Bodil is quite experienced. Will cost me some cash. Ellen. 
truly. We'll bring in the expensive court physician because we can always go reading again. And that is someone else I can take as a concubine. Hopefully you won't get syphilis like my last one. Let's raise the army as raiders. Um, it's not at full strength, but that's okay. We're going to head towards well, the English coast again and see if any of the uh, holdings there have recovered and are ripe for a little pillaging. Because that's how we solve our problems here. Our financial problems, anyway. What do we got? We got some good loot there, good loot there, excellent. Let's get in there, let's loot the place, hope nobody shows up. Well, the quality of our troops are pretty good. And um, we got some decent numbers. Ah! My concubine in court physician who's an evil atheist is pregnant. Excellent. So what do you mean evil atheist? You're callous, cynical, and honest. Brilliant strategist, undying defender. You got a really high marshal. Forder crosses water without advantage. So you're actually a pretty decent commander there. I wonder if women can actually be commanders in my army. I wonder if that's something that my culture allows. My son and heir, Hafton. Is an unusually calm child. When the others play their wild games, Hafton often withdraws to some silent corner. He does not speak a lot, but I can tell he's always thinking about something. He gains the trait pensive. Okay, it's a childhood trait. We can see what they can um, grow into. Stewardship and learning are good. We'll hit a couple more holdings and then we'll head back home. It looks like some of my uh, my fellow N Norse are raiding. As I wait outside the birthing chamber, each minute feels like a lifetime. Bodo screams as cease with no infant's cry to replace it. Something is wrong. My midwife's wretched expression confirms all my feels. They both died in childbirth, and we gained 50 stress. Oh, lovely. So, so, so we're going to have to search for another court physician once I get back home. Oh, my wife is pregnant. Excellent. Well, maybe that'll help. Greetings, Jarl Haralder of Viken. I have prowled through documents both ancient and of less certain providence. We have enough material to make the case that we are the rightful lord of the chiefdom of Nadenis. See it done. How much money do I have? Not enough. Settlement of Dunbar. All right. Bring me the money. All right. Let's bring the cash home.
All right, we arrived home and we netted two income. All right, well, let's ban the army. Let's try and get everybody up to full strength so that we can get ready to attack this guy. Now, if I want to create some bowmen, what is that going to cost me? Full maintenance. Yeah, do it. My dear cousin, despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets in Jarl Sigurder's court. Jaland. Uh, I do not believe we'll ever find anything either. There's less going on here than a graveyard at noon. Keep it up. Alright, so can I invite my prisoners? Uh, can I ransom you? Yes. And ransom you. Yes. All right, good, good. All right, we had a daughter, Christina. Excellent. Hooks and secrets. Hooks I hold. That doesn't really help me much at all. Well, once I have somewhere around 50 gold. What is my marshal doing? You are organizing levies. Yeah, that is... That is perfectly fine. We're at 100 control here. So we don't need to worry about that. Ooh, you've expanded. That's not so great. But you don't have a lot of armies right now. I can definitely put a larger military in the field than you can. At the end of the field exercise, it had seemed a brilliant idea. To practice regrouping an army in disarray, I split my troops and ordered every officer to independently make their way to Trunsborg. Of course, by the third day of waiting, but with only half my army in place, I start to see flaws in the plan. Unpronounceable. Suggest I ride out with a contingent of champions to find the missing troops while the rest of the army returns home. I gain self-sufficient soldiers. Supply duration plus 20%. A martial lifestyle perk. Okay, we'll go for that. I can hear some of them from outside the roadside tavern, and as one of my champions kicks open the door, my wayward soldiers fall silent. My arrival makes them stare down to their tankards with nary a word between them. The proprietor narrows his eyes, so you're responsible for this rabble. We've got enough coin to pay the damages. I'll burn a little bit of prestige. These men have the right idea. Pour me a drink. Alright, approaching the lake, I spot a camp pitched on its shores. As I entered it, I am met by a s the sergeant in charge. My lord, our water stores leaked while on the move, and our pack animals cannot make the march home without more water than we currently have. The soldier looks at me nervously. If the lord and his champions helped carry water skins, however... Gains desertion. No. Yep, that's the only way. Sure, fine. The last of my troops had made it back to Tunsborg and order has been restored. Though it was hardly a display of military brilliance, I've gained a new perspective on my army and the individual soldiers of which it is composed. We gained a martial lifestyle perk unlock. Alright, so we have three available perks.
Naval speed, siege weapon effectiveness. I don't think we have any of those. Parthian tactics. We'll grab that. Organized march. Men at arms counter efficiency plus 25%. Sure, we'll grab that. How's my army looking? It's getting close to full strength. Uh, no. We'll, we'll stay at size one. Now here, can I construct any new buildings? Actually, no, no, no. I want to search for a court position again! We'll grab the experienced court physician. Well, at least this one won't die in childbirth. <laughs> right, let's get rid of all that. All right, what, what's what's the issues we need to look at? We can declare wars. My mother is eligible to wed. Do I care? I could marry her off to somebody in the in another kingdom. Another realm. To form an alliance. Who would I want to form an alliance with? I mean, Sweden would be great. Even Vastergotland. Or Vastergotland. Uh, no other potential alliances here. Um, so where is, uh, No idea where that is. I will marry her off to this guy. Send proposal. I can designate a guardian. I would select... Me? You know what? I'll go with um, unpronounceable here. Okay, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not sure what I'm missing here. There we go. Okay, that, that was weird. Send proposal. Okay. Interface is a little odd there. Alright, where are we at? You have 1,300 troops. How many troops do you have? Eleven sixty-eight. I don't want to necessarily let you get too much more powerful. Um. Okay. 
Declare war for my claim. Raise all armies. So what do you think you're doing? He's in good mountainous terrain. I don't know how this is going to go. The quality of my troops is better. I have more of them. A solid victory. Excellent. Let's go siege. The holding here. Five months left. All right, well, I'll deal with his army first. Chase him down. Well, your army is basically nothing now. So, just complete this siege. Oh, of course. Well, I'll finish the siege and then I'll deal with your men. Plus 61%. We can keep doing this over and over again. Ah, I took Jarl Ragnar hostage. Excellent. That means I can enforce my demands. Do it. All right, disband my armies. Okay, and now what I want you to do, Marshal, or no, not Marshal, it's my uh, my priest to uh, go ahead and fabricate claim. Now, I need to hand off something to a vassal. Alright, so... Who would be good to work as a vassal? My chancellor and champion. Maybe you. I can... Grant you the title of that chieftain. Excellent. Spells up to the task. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I am often disappointed. After a long day, I'm complaining to Roggenhilder. When she interrupts me, let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. Chancellor could use a tutor. Give a few lessons to my steward. What is she good at? She is a good diplomat. The Chancellor could use some help. Uh, 
All right, so that other duchy title needs what? Let's see. I had to have the other county and 250 gold. All right, to the sensible Jarl Rolder Vikan, I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the conquest of Chiefdom Bothan. Um. Up there, you want me to help you grab that? Uh. I had a sudden scratch in my throat there. All right. Yeah, I don't care. I'm gonna decline. I'm not gonna bother. Now, if I'm gonna need some cash. I could bring that up to size two. Get some more bowmen. Now, do we have a development map? Down here is pretty well developed. We could try to go on like a really long expedition. I have a guest. You're 32, unmarried. Uh, can I recruit her to court? Ah, my wife is pregnant again. So then that probably means that I can bring her in as a concubine. There we go. All right, greetings, Jarl Haralder of Viking, or Viking. Your chancellor, unpronounceable, has insulted me gravely. He had the audacity to name me an Aramidic churl in front of my court, and demand satisfaction for the slight. Who are you? Oh, you're the uh, Jarl of Vastergartland. Hmm. Let's see. I pay money. I spend prestige. He loses 20 opinion to me. And spends a bunch of prestige. He doesn't like me. But my chancellor does. You know what? He will plead for your forgiveness publicly. And I'm probably going to try to find myself a new chancellor. Because you are crap. You're not that much better, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and bring you in. Grab, hit, and run there. My son and heir. Should I not be educating my son myself? I'm in line to inherit a title. Fourth in line, the chieftain of Skane. Fourth line of the chiefdom of Holland. Really? Oh, there's Skane there. Fourth in line. 
Yeah, that's probably not going to not going to happen there. Powerful vassal demands council position. My vassal. Oh, he is my vassal, isn't he? Well, poo. I guess you're back on the council. He still likes me a ton, so that's good. All right, I had a son, John. Excellent. Ooh. I learned of someone's secret. A courtier in Jayland. This character believes in a false god or none at all, so he's a non believer. I don't know if that really helps me at all. I probably have enough documents, both ancient and of less. Okay, so we've got our claim on that chiefdom. All right, your army, you've got 800 men. I did not go in that raiding expedition, so my army is at full strength. Uh, if I declared war on you, can I declare war? Can I declare war on, on that will break a truce? How long do I have a truce? You're calling me to war again. We're going to decline again. Now, where does it show me the truce? There it is. Until the 13th of January of 1882. 18... 882! Ooh, it's not quite that far along yet. So I got four years till I can declare another war without breaking truce. All right, well, we'll just hold on to that claim for the time being. All right, and I can probably bring my light footman up to size three. All right, many treatises have been written on honorable conduct in war, but those authors' lives weren't on the line when they put pen to paper. I know from experience the best way to defeat my enemies is to ensure we only engage in battle on my terms. The question is, what terms would be most advantageous? I'll trick my enemies into overextending. Hit and run. Trick my enemies into overextending. That sounds good. I gathered my retinue together for some war games, eager to try my idea of faking a rout to lure my opponents into overextending. Unfortunately, when my team attempted to try my new tactic, we were unable to hold our ground. We suffered a quick and humiliating defeat when the enemy side quickly broke through our line and caused our ranks to disintegrate. Anyone who par par uh, participated in the game now thinks that I am a fool and wants no further involvement in my ideas. I lost another bunch of prestige. I'm still gaining positive prestige, so it's all right, I guess. All right. Uh, continue working down the strategist tree there. Ah, my son. How many wards can I actually take? 
The walls of Oslo Sislar. Oslo. Uh, Oslo. Mm hmm. Delegation uh, slowly falls out of my private chambers. Our long meeting finally over. Um, they, the petitioners beg for money to repair the crumbling walls of the holding and invoke my lordly duty to help them. I drum my fingers on the table, pondering whether to send them funds. Good fortifications are hideously expensive. Of course, the walls are crumbling anyway, and I could always divert their existing stipend to more personal matters. Let's see. I spend 50 gold. Alright, I'll take it. I know I'm in debt. Alright, well we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. We'll probably have to do a little bit of raiding to see if we can deal with that debt. Because we got to wait for this, uh, this truce to fall off anyway. So we might as well. Alright, but we're at the end of the episode, so we'll go ahead and stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.